This is Frank Valente with EXP in Northern California, and today I'm going to talk about should I work with iBuyers, and my answer may surprise you. Okay, this is our Frank Valente with EXP in Northern California, and today I'm talking about iBuyers. So, and should we work with them as an agent or how we can how it can help us or hurt us. So what's an eye buyer? The eye buyers, eye for instant buyer, maybe that's where it came from, is these institutional buyers that are able to go out, make cash offers, offer 10-day closes, buy homes as is, and they're out there in our marketplace. So some of them, for example, um, OfferPad, Zillow, Redfin, Open Door, they may not be in your marketplace and their programs may all be slightly different. But what I'm seeing is a minimum, they're definitely causing some disruption and confusion in the marketplace for sellers. So, for example, you know, sellers may not realize what the actual net's going to be to them, and that may surprise them, right? So, um, and they also may not realize the off, you know, the offer may not come through. So, it's good that we know so we can educate our sellers. But what I want to tell you to do is, as a minimum, you should be creating your own iBuyer program. And I'll tell you why. So I'm lucky with eXp, we have an express offers platform. We're already set up with several buyers in different areas, and we're trained on how to do it. So it's a great platform. But what, even if you, if you weren't set up with one already, you could still create one yourself, and you should. So... For example, you should in your marketplace, you should be going to real investors and finding out the ones that have a track record that really, really can close in 10 days when you bring them the right property. And how can you use this? Well, one, I've used it to compete for listings where I was sitting down with the seller and they were waving a letter they got from one of these companies. They said, Frank, I don't need you because this company's going to sell my home. And I'm like, well, wait, wait, wait. Certain conditions apply right to that offer and oh by the way i can do the same thing for you right so that you could as a, a minimum it can become an objection handler for you if you have your own i buy a program but also it's going to become a lead source because it's definitely going to attract some attention with potential sellers and you know if you do your due diligence with them and say look if you really really want to sell your house and close it in 10 days and really want to sell it as is and make no repairs, we can sell for this much, but you know, maybe we should put it on the marketplace and we can probably get another 30% with a little bit of effort on your part and be honest with them. So that's my opinion. You know, if, if you know that old saying, if you can't beat them, join them, but you need to learn about iBuyers and also learn how to compete with them. If you got any questions, give me a call or text and have a great day. Bye bye.